guys, I'm going to be showing you um, how to completely remove a uh, jailbreak on your phone. Um, as you can see here, I have the latest jailbreak, but there has been an update, iOS 9.3.5, which patched a crucial security feature. Basically, somebody can get full access to your phone by clicking on a link, and I'm just way too paranoid to be this vulnerable. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of... Um, how to get rid of a jailbreak on iOS 9.3.3 so before we begin you need to make sure you have a computer as this requires a computer you need to have a lightning cable and you need to back up everything and if you don't know how to back up I'll show you how to do it so let's go ahead and switch to the computer now okay so now that you've connected your device to iTunes the first step you want to do most important step because you are gonna lose all your data you want to hit backup now and just click cancel and it's going to begin backing up your phone so the next thing you want to download the .ips file for your phone personally I'm just going to be using the iOS 10 developer beta file but you just want to go ahead um, select your device I have an iPhone 5s here and my phone is running iOS uh, 9.3.3 and you want to select the firmware, firmware you want to restore to. As of now, Apple's only signing at 9.3.4, 9.3.5, so you won't be able to re-break no matter what. So, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to download 9.3.5. Uh, the patch is the latest one, but as you can see, I'm already downloading the iOS 10. So now, you just want to minimize Safari, and you want to can let your iPhone finish backing up. So once your iPhone is finished backing up, note this may take like 10 minutes, so just leave it aside. Um, you want to put your iPhone in restore mode, and I'll show you how to do that in a couple of minutes. So guys, as you can see on the device, it is backing up, it's syncing. And you can see here the backup is almost completed. And um, just so you know, I'm going to gray out the serial number. And there is the iOS 10 restore file, and there's the 9.3.5. So if you're not a developer, just um, and you still want to get iOS 10, I recommend just restoring to iOS 9.3.5, then downloading the public beta um, certificate or provisioning profile or whatever, and just install it on your phone that way. So the backup is almost completed, and I'll show you what to do next. So now, as you guys can see, the backup is literally almost completed, and it's still showing the syncing sign on my iPhone. So far, it's taken, like, maybe 20, 30 minutes. I'm just watching some KSI in my second screen to pass some time. So um, just let it do what it's doing. And if you're upgrading to iOS 10, you might want to um, follow the next step before I actually show you how to put your iPhone in recovery mode. Because if you update to iOS 10, then you make another backup while you're on iOS 10. Your original iOS 9 backup, the one we're doing right now, will no longer be valid because the iOS 10 backup would have overridden it. And that means if you want to restore your device back to iOS 9, you will not be able to bring all your data back. Because you cannot restore an iOS 10 backup on iOS 9. So, as you can see, the backup is completed. No more syncing cable on symbol on our iPhone. So, what you want to do... Um, sorry, Windows users. I don't know how to do this on Windows. But um, I will just um, post in the description how to do it if I find out. So, you just want to go to iTunes on a Mac. Preferences. Then, once you're in Preferences, you're just going to zoom out. Let it focus. You're going to just go to devices, I think. Just let it load. Then look for your device. Mine is Jesse's iPhone. Look today. Then what you want to do is right click and archive. So now you can see, you know, your backup is archived when it has a date beside it. This means it will stay on your computer no matter what. So you're going to want to press OK. And the next step you want to do, this is how to put your iPhone into recovery mode. So you want to turn it off completely. If you can't uh, turn it off using the slight uh, power off, then what you can do is you can press the power button and the home button until it restarts and shown the Apple logo. Then you just continue with the next step. 
So make sure your phone's powered off. You want to disconnect it. And then you want to, um, actually I don't know how I'm going to record this. but Because um, I need to use two hands, so just bear with me. Um, you want to hold the home button. And then while you're holding the home button, you want to connect um, your device to your computer. Continue holding the home button until this screen pops up. So this is basically telling you to connect your phone to your computer and have iTunes open. And when you do, you're going to see this screen basically saying your iPhone is in recovery mode. So if you remember, we did download an IPSW file from IPSW.me and we want to restore to that firmware version. And for me, I'm restoring, I'm, well, updating, but I want to restore my phone. Um, I'm going to be going to iOS 10. That's why I archive my backup. And if you wanted to, you could update your phone. But I wouldn't recommend this if you're jailbroken, because I'm not sure if we'll get rid of all the files, all the city and everything. So you just want to click restore. And um, usually if you click restore, it'll just download the latest firmware from Apple servers. But we don't want to do that. We just want to, if you're on Mac, you want to go to your keyboard press the option key and then you want to click on it. Um, I'm actually using my both hands so I'm just going to put the camera down. So um, I just clicked on the restore button and as you can see um, a screen pops up allowing you to select an IPS file to restore to and I'm just going to select the one we downloaded. I downloaded an iOS 10 one but you would have downloaded the um, iOS 9.3.5 so make sure it's the correct one for your device and it's still being signed by Apple or else the um, restore will fail so now the screen's gonna pop up and all you wanna do is click restore so it's gonna begin extracting the software this is basically um, unpacking So guys, you want to give yourself a mini self 5 now for how far you've gotten because you've completely restored your iPhone, gotten rid of Cydia, all jailbreak related files and you're free and you're on a new version of iOS protected from any spyware, any virus, viruses or malware. You're completely safe. So if you're on iOS 9, what you want to do is you want to sleep. But if you're on iOS 10, you want to press the home button because slide to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Hit next. Um, you can enable location services if you want. If you're going to use Google Maps and stuff like that, then do. You can set up Touch ID for the purpose, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to click set up Touch ID later. Hit continue. Here I'm going to set up a password later. Hit continue. Then it's going to ask me, do I want to restore from backup? If you back up to iCloud, then you can restore from iCloud backup, but we backed up from iTunes. And if you don't want to back up, you can select a uh, set up as a new iPhone, or you can move data from your Android phone. So I'm just gonna click uh, restore from iTunes backup, and we're just gonna move this recording. And then, as you can see, it's just gonna say connected to iTunes. So I'm just gonna stop the recording. So guys, we're back on the iTunes screen. You just wanna leave your iDevice. If you decide to back up. You're going to select the backup, and I'm just going to select this backup that I archived, or you can set up as a new iPhone, and it's going to restore from a backup. So it's going to give you an estimated time to complete, and you just want to leave your device connected to iTunes for the remainder of the time. And on your iPhone, you will see restore in progress. This basically means your backup is being restored, so don't mess with your phone unless you want something to happen. So just make sure your iPhone is securely connected, don't mess with it, don't do anything. And sooner or later it's going to begin the backup. Mine would be pretty large, so I would estimate it would take like 20 minutes. 
but yours might be smaller, it could only take one minute, it could take five minutes, yours could even take an hour, depending on the size of your phone, but you're just going to wait, and as you can see, the minutes are just counting up, so um, guys, that's it for this video, I'll come back to you on the completely clean, jailbreak free iPhone once it's completed. So guys, we are back at this screen. Um, remember, if you're on iOS 9, you slide. But if you're on iOS 10, that won't work. You press the home button. So it's basically going to say your iPhone was updated successfully. Basically saying it was backed up or restored. Um, you wanna you can set up Touch ID in your passcode if you want to now. I am not going to for the sake of this video. I'm going to hit continue. Then you want to agree to any terms and conditions that read in it. And then click get started. And your iPhone will be in the exact same position as it was before. As you can see, all my apps are there. The only thing that's remaining is um, the PP Jailbreak app, which you can delete. And it's even gone. And another app I downloaded was Jailbroken, but it's gone. And right now, all your apps are just going to say waiting. This basically means you're going to just download. And just to prove it's iOS 10, look, I can delete the home app and also... Just so you guys can see, to prove I restored completely, um, I'm going to go into uh, about, about this iPhone. And as you can see here, it's on iOS version 10.0. And if I go into my jailbreak folder, you can see there is no city, only feature points. So that's pretty much it. Your iPhone is jailbreak free. And if you update it to the latest version of iOS, you'll be protected from any malware or, you know, the spyware thingy that's coming up. You'll be protected from it completely. So this iTunes is just spamming me right now. So I'm just going to enter my passcode right now. This whole screen will be blurred. So don't worry. So, yeah. So if you don't know about the hack, I'll leave a video by Everything Apple Pro. He did a really good video explaining it. Also, a blog. I can't remember by who or whatever. It's probably like the New York Times or something. I don't know. And then you can see it for yourself. So guys. So guys, if this tutorial helped you, be sure to leave a like because that would really help me. Also, if you're new here and you're around here, you want to subscribe. And one last thing you want to do because I noticed my date is not working because it is not 941. You just want to go date and time. We tried, I don't know, for some reason my time is just showing 9.41, um, but I can fix that later. I'll just search online. Anyways, so that's pretty much it for this video. All your um, apps are going to slowly be coming, come back and no need to worry as um, everything will be in place. So this video and stay tuned for the next one. Also, one last thing, um, before, if you're gonna comment on this video, if it didn't work for you, um, please re-watch the video, because you might have missed a step, because in my other video on how to get iOS emojis on Android, a lot of people were saying, you said no root, but you need root. But the reality is, um, the first method I show you using the emoji switcher, you need root. But then I show you a second method, and if you actually watch the whole video, you'll see there's two methods. And the second one is by installing a font. So, it, before you comment, make sure you followed all the steps. And remember, if anything happens to your iPhone, either bring it to an Apple repair shop, or you can just retry the steps. If you can't get into recovery mode, I'll put a link in the description on how to get into DFU mode, which is, um, you can pretty much get in no matter what situation your phone is. I can guarantee you that your phone will not get bricked. So, that's about it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.